Sagittarius, it's Nicola. So this is your weekly read. This will be for September the 28th through October the 4th. All right. So the blessings you have, Shisha Naga, patience and fortitude, ability to serve with humility, physical and mental strength, and ability to adjust to various circumstances. We also have Balaam, which is protection and loyalty, brotherly love and service, spiritual and moral strength, and freedom from evils of intoxication. Um, and Scorpio also got this as well. All right, so let's see what messages we have. We're going to be pulling from the Cat Tarot. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising of Venus. This is for the week of September the 28th to October the 4th. What messages do we have for Sag Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising of Venus? September the 28th through October the 4th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, and Rising of Venus. September the 28th, September the 29th, September the 30th, October the 1st, October the 2nd. And October the 4th of 2020. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Seven of Wands. So there could be um, either you're standing up for what you believe is right, um, really protecting your desires, or you're in the space of resisting, not wanting to play, interact, strength. So Leo energy could be resisting a Leo. Um, could be finding the strength to resist something. Monday here, a page of cups here. I do feel like you have some new feelings. Some of you guys are searching through your emotions right there. This is the cat searching through the toilet bowl, through the water. So you're searching through your emotions right now. Um, Emperor here, Aries energy could be dealing with an Aries. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're really in a space. Now you could have a new love. Could be dealing with an Aries. New emotions, new inspirations here. Four of swords here. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're kind of in your thoughts a little bit. Wheel of Fortune here, you're in alignment with the change. So for a lot of you guys, you're really wanting to take control and create some changes. You're in alignment with that, with Fortune moving. Ten of Swords here, embracing the end of a difficult situation. Um, Knight of Cups, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it could be you're following your heart here. Three of Cups, you're following your heart here toward something that makes you happy, um, makes you feel abundant. If, I'm going to be rude. It looks like you could be following your heart to another love. So, Page of Cups here. It looks like you have some new inspirations here. Why is this Page of Cups here? New feelings. Why is this Page of Cups here? So, we have Four of Pentacles here with the Four of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys, you've been holding back what you feel. Um, but you're no... Because you were unhappy, but you're no longer... You're making a decision to no longer be unhappy. Um, Nine of Pentacles, I do feel like you're gaining your independence from a stuck situation or just being stuck in general. I do feel like you found your earthly power to no longer be unhappy. So regardless of what you were doing, even if you were single, you're and you are in the space of just feeling like I'm just not happy. You're in you're now in the space of gaining control of that. I'm choosing to be happy. So I do feel like you're finding the strength to resist opposing types of energies, things that oppose to your happiness. Emperor here, setting boundaries, structure. A lot of you guys, you're disciplining yourself. You see the emperor has the thing around his own ex. You're disciplining yourself by setting boundaries to these 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 conflicts, five of ones. Now, for some of you guys, this conflict is not internal. This is external. And you could be setting boundaries to someone. High priestess here knowing, queen of cups. Some of you guys know that there's a lot of conflict here. Could be dealing with a mother. Could be dealing with a mother figure with the queen of cups. Queen of cups says Scorpio energy. Definitely seen that in the Scorpio reading, um, like dealing with some conflict. Um, did I? I saw, no, you guys had similar energies, but I don't feel like they were dealing with conflict. So Ten of Swords here, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there's there's an end. You're setting boundaries, ending a difficult situation. You know that there's a lot of conflict here around some situation. You know in your heart that there's challenges that you need to overcome. So Four of Swords here, you are in alignment with Will of Fortune change. Why is this Four of Swords here? Five of Pentacles here, I told you. Five of Pentacles is a change to a foundation. Seven of Cups here. Um, some of you guys are really wanting to change a situation that creates some illusions or creates some confusions for you. Six of Wands here. I do feel like there's victory moving forward if you're in alignment, if you're following your own truths. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you, you, you pretty much have your mind set. Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, with the Foolish Man, you're taking a leap of faith. Why is this Wheel of Fortune under here? I feel like you're you're kind of, you're moving this wheel. Because look, 
the cat you're moving as well you're making changes to your life yep two of swords here nine of cups some of you guys are really restoring peace to yourself by just allowing your concerns to fade away and moving forward six of pentacles toward balance for yourself so regardless of what it is you're just blocking out all external shit that that is challenging to you tower releasing unstable situations and just kind of shit i'm done i'm moving forward um i'm just gonna do what's best for me so ten swords here you're embracing the end of difficulties i feel like you're finding the strength to just resist bullshit um ten of swords here with the king of wands you're embracing the end of a difficult situation really focused on a new path chariot here gaining control here making a decision some of you guys are motivated to make a decision here to move ace of pentacles toward a new life i like it i'm with it so knight of cups here why is this knight of cups here i do feel like you're following your heart sun moon you're balanced within your emotions. So you have clarity within your mind and your emotions. Queen of Wands here. So a lot of you guys, there's a secret here. Whoa, there's a secret. So Four of Wands here with the Ten of Wands. Some of you guys are laying the burdens down of some plan. Um, yeah, Page of Wands, King of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you got new desires here. And this is what's creating this transformation. You are really confident about transforming this situation. There is going to be... So the, you're following your heart. You're bringing clarity to your emotions. bringing clarity to the dark. Queen of Wands. Now this could be your energy. Um, really motivated to really move forward. I feel like... Or you could be dealing with a, a Leo as well. And there could be some feelings that you have and you could be following your heart now transformation here king of Pentacles, you could be confident about putting an end to something especially ten of wands if you feel like it's a burden all right so three of cups here why is this 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 three of cups here Queen of Swords. Yep, some of you guys are making a decision. Ace of Wands here with the Five of Cups. I feel like you, your feelings have changed around the situation. Star Energy here with the Queen of Swords. I feel like either you're dealing with an Aquarius or you have an Aquarian mindset, meaning you're seeing the bigger picture and becoming very discerning. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're moving toward someone that has your heart. You're letting go of another situation. I feel like you're letting go of another situation. You're letting go of a relationship and grasping onto something new. Ace of Wands here, Five of Cups. You regret a situation. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you're becoming more discerning of how you extend your energy to people. Or you're just choosing to be happy. Choosing to go out and have fun and enjoy life. It could very well be that, you know. So we're going to pull from the Mother Earth Mandela. What messages, what guidance do we have? Aurora. So I'm going to read on that. Um... We have Golden Soul and 11-11. So for a lot of you guys, I really don't think I need to read on it. I feel like you're kind of taking a bite out of the fruit of life. You're moving toward what makes you happy. Um, toward your your radiance. I feel like you're emerging into your new path or into a higher path. Which is it's beautiful. So this is all I have. Until next time.